It's a beautiful fall day here at our tiny A-frame cabin. Today I wanted to take you guys on a tour. If you see anything along the way that you have any questions about or that uh, you would like more information on, please leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those. Let's get started. I wanted to start today with giving you guys a little bit of information on the cabin itself. The cabin is 20 feet wide by 28 foot deep. It has two foot eaves on each end, and so the interior is 20 by 24. It has a loft that is nine feet wide by 13 and a half feet deep, and it is constructed out of 15 20 by 20 by 20 equilateral triangles. We didn't have any plans per se. Uh, we used a book called Cabins and Cottages, and I'll leave a link down in the description below to that book. Uh, it's a great place to get started if you're looking at building one of these and it's also a wealth of information if you're looking at going off grid. My family and I wanted something simple that we could construct ourselves and we didn't have to bring in a single general contractor. We didn't have to bring in any heavy equipment and in fact we didn't even have to fire up a generator until we got to the interior trim and, and the shiplap. So it was, we constructed it all with cordless power tools. We made all the angle cuts on a, on a saw down in town um, so that we could just bring it up here and, and assemble all the A's to construct it. So it was a great experience. My wife and my daughter and my two boys learned how to really use power tools and it was a great education and brought us closer together as a family. And that's what this whole place is all about is, is coming together as a family. It is completely off grid. It runs on solar. We have a little bit of propane for the cook stove. It heats with wood and we have a well that, supply, that supplies it with water. So on the outside here, we have a 20 foot wide by 15 foot deep deck. The cabin itself is small, so we wanted to extend that living space. So we build a nice big deck. We use the Trex product so that we don't have to take as much care of it. We get a lot of snow and weather up here and it's really hard on the wood products. So we, we decided to go with the Trex decking and uh, it's been a, been a good thing so far, uh, but it's a beautiful spot to spend time as a family. So going around the outside of the cabin here, we got our nice glass front here, and this is where I kind of have an advantage. I, I do glass for a living, and so I was able to, to make this an all glass system out here. I saved scraps and was able to order the glass and, and build all of this and put it in. But I'll tell you the nice thing about A-frames is that the ends, what you fill in there is not structural, so you can really fill it in with, with anything that you want. Um, you can use doors that you find on marketplace and windows that that you can frame to fit um, you can really build it to fit anything that you want there we did it in all glass because we could moving around the cabin i can tell you the hardest part of this entire project was that stovepipe right there i wish i would have paid better attention in geometry who knew that a six inch stovepipe would take a hole that was almost almost four feet long to punch through that roof and it was a little bit scary going through my brand new roof and and the the uh, roof that i just sheathed and so it was a uh, quite the experience and and uh, quite a project it was a little bit tough a little bit tricky but we got it all figured out and got it all in there to code the cabin itself is built on 12 inch pillars these pillars were the holes were hand dug and the uh concrete was hand poured my boys mixed that concrete while my wife and daughter and i uh, poured it into the into the sauna tubes and it was quite a lot of work we did it over the a couple of weekends and created the foundation for this the nice thing about a pillar foundation is you don't have to have a level piece of land you notice down here is higher than the pillar on the other end and so it uh, levels things out for you so we didn't have to do any major dirt work to uh, to build this cabin we have a little spigot here so we can fill buckets and things on the outside of the cabin got our skylight one of the things about a-frames is they're known for being dark inside and we didn't want to have that so we put the all glass front in and the skylight coming around the back you can see this is more of your standard construction. 
Um, this is just a door we found on Marketplace and a couple of windows I had laying around. And uh, you, can, you can fill it in with anything that you want. We sided it, stained it, and I think it turned out just as beautiful as the front, to be honest with you. We keep a little bit of firewood back here. Our propane's underneath. And I'll spin around here. I'll try not to go spinning too fast. Right here is our solar panels. These solar panels supply our cabin with electricity. They're mounted on a uh, solar tracker. I've done some videos on that tracker you can check out. But that keeps us supplied with power. Now for the part you've probably all been waiting for. Let's go inside. Welcome to our beautiful little A-frame cabin. Just kind of give you a quick overview of everything and then go through and explain things in a little more detail. My wife has done an awesome job of decorating and trimming and she's done so much work in here. She's become quite the craftswoman. We've gone with an open floor plan. We tried to make this little tiny space as uh, roomy as we can. We got the gallery style kitchen, a little dining area. Over here on the left, we have our bathroom. And down here to the left, we have our bedroom. Here's a view out the front of the cabin. This is my favorite part of this place. That's National Forest out there, and uh, it's the driest time of year right now, so things are looking a little dead, but it is beautiful and green and, and just a pretty view. We get deer, and we've seen bear and elk, and you name it out here. So it's uh, my favorite part about this cabin is that view right there. And this glass windows help me keep that view. We'll start in the living room here with a little more detail. This is a fold-away bed couch. Believe it or not, there's room in this cabin to sleep nine people on beds. And uh, that's pretty great for as small space as it is. We built these end tables that uh, even have storage space under the lid there. We tried to make use of all the space that we could in this place. Behind the couch is also some additional storage. Because of the nature of an A-frame, there's tons of room behind there as well. The rug here, we put extra padding underneath of so that we could sit on the floor and, and uh, play games and things there. The chair here also pulls out into a bed. And then our wood stove. Our wood stove, I mentioned earlier, was definitely the hardest part of this project. But it's all installed per code. And uh, this little wood stove I picked up on Marketplace for 75 bucks and uh, brought it home and cleaned it all up and it is a Vermont Castings Aspen model and it does a great job of heating this place. It's small, it's actually just right for this space and uh, does the job we need it to. Moving on to the kitchen and the dining area. This dining room table I built and it folds out to where we can sit six people around it comfortably. The benches underneath, we incorporated storage for board games and things like that. And even this end table here is made to flip around and be used as a seat um, for the end of the table. We did a little bit of storage up above for the dishes, some shelves, and some, some hanging storage there. The kitchen over here, I got to brag on my wife a little bit. She built these cabinets, and they are super deep because of the way an A-frame is you end up with just some super deep cabinets. So you can put a ton of stuff in there. We did the butcher block countertop. Even the garbage can, we have storage behind it where we keep our extra garbage bags and paper products. We did some shelves incorporated into the structure. We did some rigid insulation there so that we could do some shelves for kitchen storage. Beautiful skylight over the sink so that you can look out on the woods. And it lets a lot of light in, keeps that darkness um, from this feeling like a cave. The sink has running water. Our uh, cabin is plumbed much like a RV. It runs on a pressure pump. You might have heard that pump turn on when we turned the faucet on there, but it works well for us and is awesome to have running water. 
we got our propane stove picked this guy up on Home Depot it's a little narrow stove but it does a great job and you can bake and cook and you name it everything you can do at home and then down here is our fridge and you may say hey that looks like a freezer well it is I did a uh, freezer to fridge conversion on this this runs a hundred percent off solar and it's super efficient it does a great job I'll do a future video on that and then something really cool about this A-frame is that my entire solar power system is behind that fridge. All the batteries, inverters, everything is, is in the space behind the fridge. Because of the way an A-frame is built, you got all that storage space behind. And so we utilized that and installed the entire solar power system in the cabin here behind the fridge. We kept the charge controller out here where I can monitor it. We've never had any issues, but I like to see where my batteries are at and that everything's charging and doing its job. And so we kept that out to where I could, I could monitor that. And here's our little bathroom. This is a new addition to our cabin. For the first few years of being up here, we were on an outhouse and there's nothing wrong with that. That worked just perfectly for us for a long time, but it's nice to have a flushing toilet and, and run water. Prior to this being a bathroom, it was a storage closet and what we called our honey bucket room. We had a little uh, portable camp toilet that we kept in here if we had to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. Um, but uh, it's nice to have a bathroom and running water in here. It just adds that layer of convenience and, and comfort. Moving into the hallway. We also use rigid insulation here so we could do some recessed storage. We got some coat hooks here, which is nice having right next to the door. Got our flashlights and stuff that we keep right next to the door. And then uh, we can hang brooms and different things like that. And it's not in our way when we walk down the hall to our bedroom. In the bedroom here, we have our window with a little bit of storage above it. Put some coat hooks in to hang our clothes and things and jackets on and we got some laundry baskets we did a bunch of storage under the bed this is a queen bed and I know it looks a little tight but it's actually very comfortable in here there's plenty of room to change and things and and uh, it's a comfortable place to sleep and it offers my wife and I a little bit of privacy here at the cabin we installed a light above the bed so we got that for reading um, it's a cozy little spot. I know it's literally a bedroom, but uh, it works for us and is a, a great little spot to spend the night. I'll take you up into the loft here. My boys built this ladder that takes us up into there. We did the cable railing so that uh, it kept things all nice and open. We got a beautiful view of the forest through the windows out the front. Storage for blankets and, and sleeping bags. This rug, we put extra padding under, so that it's a great place for our kids to come up here and play games. The chair beds fold out, and uh, there's four of those, so we can fit four on beds up here. But we've had six or eight when they bring their friends over, and it's a great little space. It's actually the warmest space to spend the night in the winter time. Well, thanks for being out here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our cabin. It's a beautiful place. We take great pride in what we built up here. We love spending time up here as a family and I love uh, spending time alone up here. It's just a great place to get away from the world and then enjoy some time in nature. If you have any questions or want more information on anything, please leave it down in the comments. I plan on doing a construction video. We took a lot of pictures and some short videos when we were building this place, so I plan on compiling those into a construction video. So if you'd like to see that and other projects that we have going on around here, please subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It sure helps things out. And thank you for watching.